Hey guys, we're back with Critical Failure. Last we left off. <laughs> this is like a YouTube video or something. Yes, this is a YouTube. Have I not gone oh, over God. this? Have I not, not with gone Marcus? Over... All right, fuck it. It's a YouTube video, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Dead silence. As uh, the last we left off, Wonder Bad is now fucking Wonder Dead. And so, through the power of black magic, he dies. Wow. And then down from fucking heaven. Wow. It's Tip, the angel cleric. We finally have a fucking cleric on our team. All right. Well. It, Kofi? Hey. Nice. Uh. You got you guys there? Yeah. Yeah. Kofi. 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 Chad Belmont. Belmont. Chat. Tipka Studio Perennial Bus Super Yakim Buyakas. What the fuck? That's Tip's full name. Oh. Tip's full also name known as is... Kofi was high. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. His full name is... Hold on. Let me get this right. No, I want to get the full name. Tip. Tip a custodio perena busigi novia cudio kidios. He lost connection. Oh, fuck. Wow. Oh, well, um... Never mind. I guess just as he's descending from heaven, he looks at his watch and says, Oh, shit. I have a lunch date. And he goes right back up. Well, wow, that's me. All right. Well, uh, in that case, last we left off, we were at Edermath Orchard. As you guys ran in to escape the Red Brands. So. <laughs> you guys just book in at the speed of sound. Just... Kind of dragging his corpse behind you guys. <laughs> and you get in. And there's like this little cottage nearby. And you just kick the door in. And run inside. And. There's this uh, silver haired half elf. Who's like about a hundred years old. Um. And he just, he's just sitting in his rocking chair reading a book. He just looks up and says, Ah, oh, yes. Another group of adventurers. How many I help you today? Just... Hi. <laughs> Am I with the party yet? Uh, yes. Through ma black magic, two people appear. Torment and Dondo. Yes, that's his actual name. Torment. Because I like, Edgelord. I... As we walk in, I'd like to cast Thaumaturgy. You just want to cast Thaumaturgy the minute you fucking walk. Alright, what are you doing? I, op I open every unlocked window. Uh. Alright, fair. So just every unlocked window just opens. Do you just walk through the window? <laughs> no, I walk in through the door. I use Thaumaturgy to open the door. Just without touching, you just walk in. Yeah, I don't touch anything. Has a fucking skull mask. Yeah, skull mask, two yaggers, you know, sheath, and you know, I just I just have a quarter staff that I'm using as almost like a walking stick. Fucking legend. All right, well, um, so he looks up and says, "Careful, you might cut yourself on all that edge." Just keeps reading his book. So, what do you need? I'd like to cast, um... I don't know what's happening. No, no, never mind. <laughs> oh, boy. I was gonna cast okay. Disguise Self and make me myself look like a demon, but never mind. That's a good idea. This is a half-elf. He is the member... Um, This is Darren Edermath, a member of the Order of the Gauntlet. These are essentially like... Uh, they're like the 
they're like city guards, except better in every way. They're like vigilantes. Whoa. Like ah, a group so, of Batmans. So Batman. what, 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 is, what does this guy have as a service? Um. Uh, yeah, so he's, um, he's concerned about the, uh, red brands, but, um, uh, yeah, he's concerned with the red brands, and he's like, so you just, you fucking losers just ran away from a group of thugs who are going to terrorize the town now. That's sweet. Why do you call yourselves adventurers if you can't handle a little fight? You killed our friend. Yes, <laughs> I'm very aware of the corpse you just dragged into my- I throw the body at him. <laughs> he just kind of catches it and just lets it drop to the floor. Wow. Rude much. Did they loot the body? No, they didn't loot the body because- Can I loot can it I... before I throw it at him? You want to loot. Well, they're bad, yes. Okay, let me just... Okay, can I stab the guy who's talking? I like to just sit in a chair. Alright. So, hold on. Um, You want to stab the guy who's talking? I need you to... I didn't say uh, I wanted to I stab him. I need you to roll a d20 for me. Who, God, me? Uh, no, Dondo. Oh, oh, oh he's stabbing I got, a, I got a 19, so... Uh... 19 plus 7, that's a 25. Yeah, it doesn't oh, fucking hit. God. I don't think you oh. understand how powerful this man is. You don't want to piss I him don't. off. Should I leave him? So you just try to stab this man, and he kind of just leans to the side, and it just embeds in the wall behind him, and he just keeps reading his book while this is going on. Oh, what a legend. And you want to loot the body before you throw it at him. <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. What do I find? Hold on, let me just... Would you like me to make an investigation check? Uh, yes. Investigation right. check. Uh, that's a 21. Yeah, you find 600 pounds of bombs. Oh, sweet! Yeah. <laughs> How tough is the guy? Like, he's just, like, really, really tough. Like, stronger, like... Alright, he got 600 pounds of bombs. What? <laughs> oh, boy. God, this fucking game. Oh, Ace is here. Ace is here? What's up? Hey, What's up? you're back. Oh. Onikisu is now here. You can't even say my name right. <laughs> Shut up. I know what I'm I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. What a legend. Keep telling yourself that. Uh... So is that you, Kaden? Kaden, is that you? What? Who's good? Oh, Kaden's not in here. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I don't, I don't know if Kaden's gonna join. Eh. So, so you're have... over carrying capacity, by the way. What? Like, you're over carrying capacity because you have 600 bombs. You're really used to doing carrying capacity? Damn, okay. No, I'm not, but I'm just oh. like, if I was, no. you'd be uh, fucking Okay, so were you guys ready after that hour holdup <laughs> made by me, myself, we and ours? We already I? started. Uh, we right. started only for like only five minutes uh, so far. <laughs> Essentially, Lost they my, kind uh, of uh, ran Valley. in. Um, I threw Wonderbed's body at the man. Yeah, there's an old guy named Darren Edermath. He's essentially uh one. He's essentially like a member of the Order of Batman. Hold up, yeah. we're we're doing Lost Minds of Fandelver, right? Yep. I don't remember any of this being in the DM book. Yeah, neither do I. Oh, so you cheated and read the DM? I own the DM book. Darren Edermath from oh Edermath Orchard. He's a member of the Order of the Gauntlet Vigilantes. There's Hold up, vigilantes. where are we in the story? Oh yeah. Well, you're there. running away from the Red Brand Ruffian encounter because Kofi dies. Can I make a perception check to see if they're following us? Jesus Christ. Sure, go right ahead. Okay, one second. So this is after we sneak into the base this, because this is you guys to... are in the town. You guys are in the town right now. I don't. How think... far are we into the campaign? Like barely anything. 
We, I mean, we've done, we did the ogre quest, uh, where like, or the oh. orc quest where there were, uh, Okay, okay, yeah, I, was confused. I was, I was Except a bit confused. Except they ran away from the encounter, so the orcs are still there. They're just kind of confused, like, what the fuck just happened? Oh my god, you idiots! Yep. I got a, I got a 16. 16? Oh yeah, no, they're definitely running towards you. That's great! Alright, um, um, I'd like to turn around and cast magic missiles at the closest one. Wait, actually, FX check. Can I, uh, can I run and jump at one of them? Rip out their eyes? Uh, well, I mean... Oh my god, another another with the eye thing. Oh god. <laughs> um, okay, so first, uh, Torment, you used, uh... Magic missiles. Magic mis missiles. Uh, I need you to roll, uh, uh, to attack. Um, it's magic missiles that instantly hit. Shit, you right. Um. Okay, so uh, I need you to. So you're throwing them all at this one person. Um, actually, I'll split them among the three closest. Got it. Okay, so um. So we're attacking now. So, By the way, sorry for the big hold up. I was um. Roll three d four. All right. So the first one that's that's the closest guy. That's, uh, two damage. Two damage? Two damage, rolled a one plus one. Got it, got it. Alright, second second one, the next closest guy. That's six damage, or five damage, sorry. Mm-hmm. And the third one is three damage. Three damage, so two, five, three? I just two... need to write this down. Yeah, two, five, three. And then I'd like to turn around and go to the... Go to the uh, the guy sitting in the chair and just say thank you for your time. Turn around and shut the door. All right. Okay. So hold on. With as much sass as possible. <laughs> I'll roll a sass check. Nineteen. Sass check. Nice. Supernatural is ending on the fifteenth season, and I'm just here dying. Nice. All right. So hold on. It's not nice. Eh. All right. So, you you go out and you close the door, and three people are uh, still in there: Dondo, Ajin, and oh, or wait, no, two people I, are still I, in there: Ajin and, then I don't and Dondo. Close the are door. Still. I thought everyone was outside. No, Ajin and Dondo are kind of just standing there, like, "What the hell's going on?" Oniki I'm sitting in a chair. I don't know what What's you're talking up? about. Okay, so, uh, you want to, uh, run and just, uh, attack the nearest one? I want to run and jump on the nearest one. Use my body mass to force them down and just rip out their freaking eyes. Um. Oh, oh, okay. Got would that be an athletics check? That would be an athletics check. Hey, Kofi's back. Kofi's back from the depths of hell. Kofi, oh, Kofi. I, I looted Wonderbad. Yeah, he stole your six hundred. Kofi, bombs. how is the hometown? What What happened while we were gone? Uh, um, you guys well, ran into yeah. an orchard, and there was uh, and there was this uh old adventure guy, essentially part of a group of bat people. He's Batman. Batman, yes, Batman. Oh wait, I didn't I never got to choose my spell. Yeah, you never That's did get to choose. That's your problem. I want to roll to take the eyes. All right, so now Tip comes back down from the heavens. All right, back now you guys have state. a cleric. All right, so Wonderful. I Wonderful. Roll Now a I want to roll Roll d20. You got gotcha. you. Yeah. Do I just like jump on him and just like his yeah. eyes just come to me? You just rip out his eyes. Uh roll a d20 for me. I did. What did you get? 20. Mm. Oh, that 20. Not 20. Just murdering people. Oh, fuck. All right, so you kind of... <laughs> you don't so much as jump. You kind of casually walk over, grab his skull, crush it, and have the eyes. Yay! I'm just going to say that's an instant kill because I don't want to mess with you. Can I have? Can I keep the eyes in my backpack or something? No, no, they're my eyes. Dang it! All right, so now, um, now that we have the surprise, the people who actually know what they're doing out of the way, um, everyone roll a d20 for initiative. I don't know what the fuck is going on anymore. 
18. Got it. What did you get, uh, Andrew? Shit. Oof. Nikki, what'd you I get? Get for what? Roll a d20. Oh. Kofi, what did you get? I got a one. Wait, got why are we rolling? Initiative. Who are we fighting? I left the red brand. Five seconds. I don't know. I'm just reading because I am bored. Dude, fine. I'll roll for you. He got a fourteen. Okay. Uh, Kofi, roll a d20. All right. Don't gotta rush me. I'm gonna one. He said. Hold on. That's... <laughs> wow. Me, me and Kofi got the same number. Yeah, except you have a higher dexterity uh, modifier, so you go for first. Onikisu, you just jumped right onto this guy's face, ripped out his eyes. Now what do you do? Uh, dude, it's this guy. You want to roll a d20? 19. All right, so you jump onto him. Um... You that that hit so you kind of um grab him by the eyes and try to pull them out but unfortunately it doesn't work. I'll let you do two damage to him as an unarmed strike, but I mean wait wait hold up hold up so I try to grip out his eyes it doesn't work but I'm jumping on him can I kick him to like use the force to push him back and try to rip out his eyes? All right a what is your obsession with eyes? B Shut I'm up. so tempted to just. Make my life so much easier by saying you can rip out the, their eyes after they're dead. Fine, I'll kill him. Fine, alright. Do you want to stab him with a dagger? Or I want to decapitate him with my short sword. You don't have a short sword. Yes, I do. You don't have a short sword. Look at it. There is no short sword in your uh, equipment bag. I can prove it. <laughs> Put in a short sword. All right. I know what How, Bro. through what black magic, did you get a short sword? I have a short sword from the very beginning, and I remember you saying that I couldn't use uh, my short sword to attack someone before because I don't have a short sword attack. Well, then what's the point of using the short sword? All right. Let because me take a look I don't at your, need to... Let me take a look at your base equipment. Starting equipment. All right, let me take a look at this. All right. So... Apparently, you can have a short sword, but you didn't, because you never chose the rogue starting equipment. So I'm just going to choose this for you. Now you have a short sword. Thanks. Come back. Next time, actually, call fill out God your complete Dampton. character first. Who? Unlike I got the opportunity to. That's starting yeah, you're, you're, you're one of the... You're one of the lucky few that 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 was allowed to ch to to fill out the character sheet. Hmm. All right, who's trying to sit in an in initiative? Uh, well, she needs to stab someone because. Who is? Yeah. I need to decapitate yeah. someone, well, you uncultured swine. All right, fine. Roll a d6. D6. Let me just get my D6 for my D6. There it is. This is the one. Five. All right. So, you rush towards this guy after just ripping out someone's eyes. You look right next to you, and the person, uh, and the red brand to your next is like starting to back away. You jump towards him. Try to stab him in the neck, he dodges at the last second, but you just rend his chest right down the center. And he's he's fatally injured, but he hasn't died yet. And now it yeah. goes on to Aegean's turn. Uh, what, what do I do? You're currently sitting down inside the house, and you hear screaming outside. Uh, that one outside. <laughs> what do I see? As, as you do. Uh, as you do, you just see Ace just pulling her short sword, short sword out of a guy's chest. What do you do? As you do. <laughs> Can I just watch? I don't know what's happening. You, you, you just want to watch this happen. What a pro What a proactive go-getter. 
I'll hit it with something or someone. I don't know. I'll just hit it. I. You just want to punch it? No, I want to hit it with a weapon. I don't All know right, what weapon. You have a crossbow if you want. Uh, yeah, just shoot it. All right. <laughs> eat the man. Roll a d20. Sixteen. That hits. Roll a d6. Three. All right. Um. Let's see. So, this red brain just after having his chest just completely open, and he's screaming in pain. He looks over to the house, pulls his hand out. And a crossbow bolt sprouts from between his eyes as he falls over dead. That's yeah, the yeah. next red brand down. Team effort, my dude. Team effort. And, and now it's the other two. And looking, they just kind of look at each other. Two of their teammates, half their group is just dead. And they kind of look at each other. And they trade glances. One of them still has like their, like the back of their hand singed from a magic missile. And, hey. yeah, and, uh, they kind of look towards each other, look towards you, and then they pull out their weapons. So they both have short swords, which they, uh, run at Ace being the closest. Uh, and they both roll... One of them just barely hits you for... Four damage. So now you have uh, 18 left. Which turn is it now? It, it's it's the it's the red brand's turn. And then the other one, you you're able to dodge out of the way. And now okay. it's back to torment. What do you want to do? Um, torment's gonna walk up and use a reckless casting. At oh, first level. No. Oh boy. Well, so, let's see what spell I get. Let's see what spell you get. Oh no. Oh no. What what did Hold you get? On. I, I have to look this up. I don't know what it does. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, he went, I made the mistake of allowing him to do the school of invention. Which is unearthed arcana. That's unearthed arcana. Oh god. <laughs> what is it? Um, I cast jump on myself. So how high do you jump? My jump distance is tripled until for a minute. Oh. Oh, that means you can jump 90 feet into the air. Holy fuck. So I'll allow you to just jump and I can land jump on this guy's... Normally? Yeah, you can... Uh, oh, right. Um, no, you can walk 30 feet. I assume your jump is about like... Hmm... Uh, 15 feet? Alright, that's fine. So you want to jump 45 feet in the air and do a uh, double damaged unarmed strike on this man? Sure, let's do it! <laughs> Roll a d20! Um, uh, 11. 11 plus 5 hits. No, 6 plus 5. Oh, 6 plus 5. Oh. Yeah, so you jump 45 feet into the air. You're ready to stomp and crush this man's skull, and, and then he just kind of sidesteps you, because, I mean, you had to go <laughs> 45 feet up and 45 feet down. That gives him enough time to move, like, a two feet to the right. That, ladies and gentlemen, is called a parabola. <laughs> Dondo, your turn. You're, uh, you're still inside. What do you do? <laughs> He's you're muted. You're you're muted. My bad, my bad. Okay, wait. Where are the enemies? How far away from they are? Um, how far away are they? I don't care unless he found out that you were gay. Get the hell off Forte! Get the hell off Forte! Uh. What the hell is Eggwarts? Is that um, Yusuf? No, Yusuf's Hello? name is local terrorist Yusuf trademark. Oh boy. No, how, how so who the hell is he? Oh, someone just on. invite a random guy to the server. One second, I'll kick him. Wait, hold on. No, figure out who he is first. 
Who um, is it? Are we continuing or I'm confused? Well, first check who's missing. Yeah, just Mar Marcus. Do we s s say what you want to do? Yeah, uh, Marcus. I said, how far away is he? Like, am I allowed to reach um, him more? Yeah, he's about. Uh, if you, uh, if you uh walk, you could probably get there. Yeah, you could probably get there. Okay, so I use an action to get there and I attack him. That's not how it works, but you know what? Sure. All right. So what do you want to attack with? Because you have a double-bladed scimitar, a great axe, uh, two hand axes, and an unarmed strike. What the hell? He's yeah, a half um, orc fighter. Guys, oh, I gotta go. Oh, why? Are you kidding me? All right. So tip before he even takes his first turn, just guy decides. You know what? No, Did no, I leave no, the no, oven, no. Here, oven here on and here goes right back up? No. Here it is. So basically, for not being a good enough. Angel, I'm kicked out of heaven, and I'm and in order to get back in, I'm tasked with helping a group of adventurers. I fly down, look at them, and fly back up in protest. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but my more popular friends are hosting a more popular podcast. <laughs> Shove a oh, stick up your it. butt, Tip. Get out, Kofi, you disgust me. He already left. He's gone. Wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So what All right, I, so like, um, what do you want to attack with? Uh, which one does the most damage? Um, wow, that is a beautiful 4chan pose. Well, I mean, a great axe can deal anywhere between 6 to 17 damage, and a double-bladed scimitar does anywhere between 7 to 13 damage. I'll use the great axe. All right, so uh, ro uh, roll a d20 for me. I got 18. 18 total? Not together. No. Eight, okay. I don't know what I had. 18 plus 7, because that's your... Oh, hey, okay. I got 25 then. Shit. Um... <laughs> so, roll a d12 for me. Wait, let me clear this out first. Okay, d12. Got you. Excuse me. I got an 8. 8 plus 13. Hey! Hey, oh guys! Oh my god! So... You kind of just waltz over. He, his, he's kind of like shaking his hand. He's like, "Ow, that that kind of that magic missile kind of hurt." He looks up and sees this giant half orc with a great axe in his hand, and then he looks up right into your eyes as you bring the great axe down and split his skull in half. Are the he's eyes still dead. intact? He's Are the dead. eyes still? Uh, are the eyes still intact? Uh, considering that the Great X went between the eyes, yes. Yes! So, now, um, the last Red Brand, who is at full health, looks at them, looks at his, like, dinky little short sword, and books it, like, full-on fucking runs top speed, and he runs, um... Whose who's turn is it? Well, it, it's not anyone's turn, because a after you kill three of them, uh, the fourth one always just runs away. That's how the encounter goes. And he runs to uh, Tr Trescender Manor, which is at, like, the east edge of town. But, uh, yeah, so... As you're all looking at this guy who just booked it, uh, uh, um, Darren kind of sits up, puts his book down, comes out and says, Why, why, yes, you seem to have done a fine for yourselves. Wait, so did the last guy, like, fully run away? The last guy just books it, he's gone. He is um... fucking gone. But before I lose sight of him, can I cast magic missiles? Um, sure. I... All right. Yeah, sure. Go for All it. All right. All three of them are at him. That's eleven points of damage in total. Ten hundred percent. Yeah. No. Uh, you don't kill him. Uh, Darren kind of hey guys, 
Yeah. Um, I just, I mean, it's it's not really anything uh, too important, but uh, what is Forrest Gump's password to um? What's Forrest Gump's password to Facebook? One Forrest one. I hate you. <laughs> I actually hate you. What? Don't worry about it. Continue. Oh, okay. Um. Shut up! I'm sending Gay to the chat. Uh, okay. I'm here for it. So, Darren it's, kind um, of looks at you and raises an eyebrow quizzically, and he's like, "Hitting an enemy while they run isn't very fair, don't you agree?" And then he kind of life is. He says that to me. Uh, yeah, he says that to you. And then he kind of like yes. He then kind of uh, walks back into the house and beckons for the party to follow him. This is needed. Wait, I want the eyes! I want the eyes! Uh, as, we way, just... as, as we walk in, I use thaumaturgy to open the door so I don't have to touch it. Alright, fair. Um, fine, wait, wait, so Ace on. collects wait, the wait, eyes. Just, just, about, just, just about the gay in the chat. Um, that that's, that's, in case you couldn't tell, that's, that's Lambs and Victory just rolled into one. I love it. Oh boy. More gay is needed in the world. Great. Debatable. All right. Shut the hell up. So the point being, uh, you guys go in to uh to this guy's uh Darren's house. He kind of sits down and says, "So now that I know that you are semi-trustable." I require some assistance. There are... I have heard stories that prospectors in the northeastern hills of Fandolin that someone... someone is digging around in the ruins of old Owl Well. Several prospectors have also said that they've been chased from the area by undead. I want you to go to this, uh, to these ruins, and find out what they're up to, and why they're there. Or that, what they're up to, why they're there, and who is it. Um, the, uh, in the ruins is this old watchtower that has, uh, known as the Netheral. It was. It's a ruin from an ancient magical empire, and there might be dangerous magic there. I will task you to join, to go on this quest, to figure this out, and then maybe we can work out payment. Right as you said, dangerous magic. I smile. Oh joy. <laughs> um. Okay. Um, he kind of... Okay, so uh, I just have one question. I, I have one question. Yes. I gotta leave, but I have one question. Yes, what is it? To, to ask to this dude. Um, okay, yes. So you're telling us that we have to go somewhere. Yes, it's about... Uh, it, it's about... Yeah, no, 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 I get it, I get it. We, we have to go somewhere. Yes. And we could die, very probably. Not probably, considering how you handled yourselves, but it is a possibility. We could die. So? Um, and there's dangerous magic. You are adventurers. This is what you do. We are children! You are not children. I just you saw you murder three gang members, and one of you stole their eyes. You know dangerous, <laughs> powerful magic. And you, if I you laugh. didn't want to pursue a life of danger, you should have been a goddamn accountant. First of all, that's rude. Second of all, fine, I get it. Let's go. It's about a two days march northeast. I don't give a crap. Let's go. All right then. <laughs> oh yeah. By the way, guys, uh, I gotta go. I I'm gonna be back in like ten minutes. All right. All right. Gotta walk the dog. Uh. Old Owl Well. Let's check this out. Um. 
Do we get a short rest on the way there? Yes, please. Uh, yeah, like you guys get rest? actually long rests. All of you get long rests. Sweet! I mean, it's I a two days march. You definitely whatsoever. have enough time to, like, relax and stuff. So I'll just confirm you guys to all have long rests. Even though you right, guys don't really we need it. From the people that I, 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 I need my spell slots. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you only use two, so... Oh. I only used two, but I realized I was messing up uh, reckless casting. I actually rolled two d10 and I picked which one. Oh, okay. Or I could just roll a d10 for a cantrip, oh. <laughs> and I cast a random cantrip. Oh boy. So um. Do we get any XP for the people we killed? Um, let me check that. Uh, Red Brand Ruffians. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'd say about. Uh, okay, so there are five of you who fought there, right? Or He's... no, four of yeah. you who fought there. So that would be. 100 XP to each of you. Also, Marcus, you're muted. I know, because I'm eating chips. That's why I keep muting. Ah. Uh, so 100 XP to all of you. Hold on. Let me just add that. How much XP do you need to level up? Uh, 900. Okay, so, hold on. And you all gain 100 experience. Alright, so, now you're on this, uh, you're on this path, you go for two days march, and you're all kind of just there, uh, and, okay. <clears throat> Let me get my narrator voice out. <clears throat> As you crest a low ridge, you spy the crumbling ruins of an old watchtower standing amid the rugged hills. The place is so old that the walls are only mounds of rubble enclosing a courtyard of sorts adjacent to the broken stump of an old tower. A colorful tent has been set up in the middle of the courtyard, but no one is in sight. Alright, so. Um. That. Uh, okay. Um. Got it, so. Um. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! I'm just reading the adventure. <laughs> what level was the adventure? <laughs> Take that! It's like a level five or higher. Oh no! But uh, it just has an excessive amount. Oh bet! Let's do this. Yeah, just an excessive amount of weak enemies. Do I see anyone? Uh, hold on. Um, let me check all your passive perceptions. Okay. Can I stealth? Um, you can stealth if you pass. Holy shit, all of you have a passive perception of 10 or higher. That means you all see the 12 zombies that lurk inside the crumbled <laughs> shell of the old watchtower. <laughs> <laughs> are, they, are they separate or are they close? I, I... Oh no! They don't out? give a map for this. There's this adventure is gonna be over like half an hour. An hour if you guys stall for time or some shit like that. It's, it's, it's they don't I'm give us a map. For time. <laughs> is it light out or is it dark? Um, it's light out. Considering that uh, it was it's about 48 hour march, which means it should be about the same time you started. It's about. Oh, like, you're mm. talking in Z and Z. I thought you meant like actually outside. No, it's like <laughs> I 11. wouldn't know that either. It's like in the morning or night. 11 in the morning, so it's about noonish. 
Also, in okay. real life, it's three o'clock, just so everyone knows. Yes, I know. I know. The, the sky looks so bad. There's so many clouds. All right, um, so. Walking um, up, walking up, I'm going to cast false life on myself. Okay. Wait, no, you, you don't, because uh, you took a long rest. You're healed. Yes, and false life gives me temporary hit points. Oh, right. Temporary hit points. I forgot. Uh, I thought it was a healing uh, spell. All right. I gain, um, I gain eight temporary hit points. Eight temporary. Wow. Nice. Let me just add that for you. I got it. Okay. All right. Thanks. Um. So. Um. Uh, you guys want to stealth your way there? Um. Um. Sure. Uh. All right. So. Roll a d20, Andrew. All right. Here we go. Uh, 20 in total. 20 total. Let me check these zombies. All right, so you kind of, like, you're able to sneak up onto them, and you're kind of, like, hiding, like, near the wall. Um, do I see them? Uh, yes, you do see them. You have... Can I reckless cast a cantrip? Uh, sure. But, um, just hold on. So you see okay. that they're, like, these 12 zombies... They're all in, like, the same room. They're all very close together. They can't be seen from the outside, but, uh, if, if you had, like, a decent passive perception, you could smell, like... Essentially, it's the smell of 12 rotting bodies in the same room. Ew. Kind of, like, just... R kind of roaming around, kind of groaning Yes, Like... <sighs> they're all very close together, you say? Yes, they're all very close together, and I know what you're doing. Go for it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna reckless cast a cantrip. Oh boy. Oh, oh no. I rolled a 10! Oh, I get to no. roll twice! <laughs> no, Andrew, please! <laughs> Andrew, please! Alright, so I cast both Shocking Grasp and Acid Splash. Can you please tell me what both of those do? Um, Acid Splash? You throw a bubble of acid at a creature you can see, or at two creatures within five feet of each other, and force them to pass a dexterity save or take 1d6 acid damage. What's the dexterity save? Um, it's a dexterity save against 14. Oh boy, their modifier is negative 2. One of them passes by rolling a 19. The other is not so lucky and fails. Right, so one take, of them... You... He takes 2 points of acid damage. Alright, so hold on, let me just write this down. Oh god, this is gonna make my life hell. Twelve zombies, hold on. How far away am I from the zombies? Um... I'd say about a good 20, so 20 feet. Alright, so shock and grass doesn't do anything. Uh. It just... Yeah. You watch, you watch lightning just come from my fingers and disappears. Got it. Um, okay, so... Um... Oh. So one of them takes two damage. Okay, so that's... I get it! So, um, you throw, like, this... So, both your hands kind of, like, bubble. One of them shoots electricity that just shocks! Except nobody is nearby you, so it doesn't work. But the other one shoots a bubble of just acid. It sprays over uh, two zombies. It hits uh, one of them square in the chest, and it takes two damage. But the other one was able to like shamble itself out of the way of the blast quick enough. All right. Now, uh, because a battle came out, and you hear just the z the groans of and sizzling, as as the as the zombie just screams in agony Haman Coast the evil mage appears the hell yeah i know <laughs> yeah. right he comes out and says you what is the meaning of this yep so um hold on 
Mm. So I, see So angle? actually, you Can guys. Can I draw my dagger? Um, in in just a second, I'll have you uh roll initiative. But does anyone want to do an intelligence, uh, or I mean, uh, a Arcana or history check? I'll make an Arcana one check. Back. All right. Can you roll a d20 for me? Uh, 16 total. All right. So you see that uh he has like this ca uh this tattoo, this black tattoo on his forehead. It's a necromantic symbol. <laughs> oh, of course it is. Let's get it. Yeah, and this is a land far to the east where wizards pattern their flesh with tattoos. Uh, and the tattoo on the head represents the wizard school of magic. where uh, And his school is necromancy. necromancy. So wait, what would mine be? I, I'm, not, I'm not high enough level for that. So um, this guy, uh, you can talk to him if you want. <laughs> oh, screw that. Screw that! I'm, I, I, I'll just stab him. I draw my shadow dagger. Oh, you're right. For, uh, for, uh, because I didn't, I, uh, I homebrewed a shadow dagger. It's just, uh, almost like a regular dagger, but I mean it. It does it can, some extra cool things. Yeah, it, it does some extra stuff, but yeah, that's besides the point. Um, so you draw your shadow dagger and, uh, yeah. What do you do? Oh, are, is this is this a little surprise round? Oh, right. Shit, forgot about that. Hold on. One second. Uh, we rolling initiative. Uh, yeah. Can everyone roll initiative for me, please? Damn it! I rolled a six again. God, jeez. Um, so, Andrew has a six, um, wait, six total? Are you adding your initiative? It's six total. I rolled a four again. Oof. Uh. Nikki, roll initiative. Yeah, roll initiative. With what dice? A d20. for her. Oh, wait, uh, yeah, d20. No, like, I legit have no dice. Alright, I'll roll for uh. you. Five. Five total, or is that five plus? Uh, five plus one, so it's six. Damn it! I was and hoping it wasn't her the... dexterity. No, uh, your dexterity is higher than hers, so you still go first. Yes. Um. So through some black. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, let me roll, Marcus. Hey, uh, Marcus, can you roll You're a twenty for me? You're muted. Marcus. You're you're muted. All right. I guess he left for a second. Hold on. He's been muted. Yeah. yeah oh, sorry, hey. I'm back. I hey. went to wash my hands. So like. Got it. I'm back now. Can you roll a d20 for me? Oh, for what? Uh, initiative. Oh, yeah, sure. Sorry, I was gone. You can nah, roll for me. Alright, it's loading. Give me a second. Wait, shit, ace left. Yeet. Alright, I forgot. I got a 16. Oh, boy. Alright, so... Dondo, you kind of look at this... And you're like, all right, this situation isn't good. What do you want to do? Um, what's the situation? Not good. And essentially, there are 12 zombies over to your right, and an evil mage to your left. If you look over to your right, you'll see <laughs> that. All right. Um, I charge the mage. You charge the mage, and what do you want to attack with? My axe. Got it. Roll a d20 for me. Gotcha. I got an 8. Uh, 8 plus 7 is a hit. So, oh <laughs> yeah, I know. Roll a d12 for me. Uh... 
I got a six. All right, so that's eleven damage total. Oh my! You look God. over, and you see this mage kind of babbling, saying, "What? What? What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Get away!" And you just kind of book it towards him. He l and you see the fear in his eyes as you use your great axe, and it bites into his uh, lower arm. Oh. He screams in agony. Which then needed? causes the zombies to go. Oh, great! Oh, no. Please, no. <laughs> Scare me. Uh. Okay, so the zombies. They're about 20 feet from the doorway, but only one can go out at a time, so, Andrew, only one uh, tries to attack you. <laughs> Sweet. Kill him, Andrew. Hit away, bitch. Got it. Um. So that's. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. No, that hits. Um, Andrew. Uh, yeah. You take four damage. <laughs> Bet. Okay. So that's that the zombie's turn. <laughs> yep, that's the zombie's turn. Every all the other eleven zombies are kind of like trying to shove their way through, like going. Wait, so like the zombies are trying to get into the door? No, they're trying to get out of the door. They're in this oh, tower. Like, towards the mage, right? Uh, yeah, towards uh torment Andrew's character. So, um, next is, uh, Haman, the evil mage. Oh, can't wait. Alright, so, uh -oh. let me bring up his stat block. <laughs> oh, no, you're having too much fun. I don't like this. Fourth level spellcaster, ladies and gentlemen. What the hell? Oh, like, second level? <laughs> you're all second level? He is a fourth level spellcaster. Do we have to fight that? Yes! Yeah! Well, I mean, no, currently he's what? at half his hit points from one attack because... Fucking... Oh, all right. Fucking Dondo. <laughs> but yeah, so Dondo is right next to him, and he uses... Shocking Grasp. <laughs> um, so... On a hand... Sorry. Okay, so... So... You kind... So... Uh, you are biting into his lower arm with an axe and he kind of just uh turns towards you and grabs you or like attempts to grab you by the neck and it and he and you just sidestep as he tries to like bumble around to uh, shock you you see like the electricity crackle between his fingers as he uh fumbles forward and that's his turn oh. whose turn is it now it is Torment's turn. So all the zombies are in a small area. All the zombies are in a small area. All right, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna run up. I'm gonna run in between all of them. So I'm in the middle of all the zombies. Got it. And I'm going to reckless cast a first level spell. Oh no. What does that mean? Don't oh, worry about one, it. one or nine. Okay, so I'm gonna take nine, which is thunder wave. Oh my god, Andrew, please. Each creature in a 15 foot cube originating from me must make a Constitution saving throw. Let's go, Eric. Start rolling. Start, start rolling, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> con, con save against 14. Against 14. These zombies' constitution are plus three. No, actually, that's decent. Hold on. So, yeah. let me just roll for the 12 of these zombies. One, Fail. Two, succeed. Three. Succeed. Succeed. Four. Fail. Five. Six. Succeed. Hold on. Let me just write this down. I think three failed, and then the rest succeeded. No, uh, succeed. 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 Damn it. Critical success. 
Oh god. They still take 16. half damage. Yeah. Uh, failure. Okay, so three failures. Failure. And failure. So five failures and seven successes? Five failures, seven successes. Alright. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um... They take six damage in total. That failed. If they succeeded, they take three damage. And every, every each one that failed gets pushed ten feet away from me. Got and it. And I'm going to run back out. Um. Well, I mean, you're twenty feet away, so you can make it ten feet to the entrance if you want. What? You can make it ten feet to the entrance. So you're about like, you're in this like tight corridor only about seven feet wide but the zombies are all like sprawled behind you and they're not yeah yeah i'm just running back got it oh and there's a thunderous boom that goes out to 300 feet away from me does it do anything or does it just like distract people and announce your presence it announced my presence oh and any unsub unsecured objects within Within 15 feet of me, when I cast a spell, it's pushed 10 feet away from me. Oh, fuck. It's so, like stones and everything. Mm-hmm. Let me just write down all uh, all the zombie hit points. Yeah, like the stones kind of like... The stones just get sent flying back Did every direction. Just die? Things just go boom. The zombies that failed get, like, thrown back a bit, and, like, they try- they need a turn to, like, catch themselves and stuff. But the other ones, they kind of just brace themselves for impact, and just feel the crackle of electricity. Yeah, it's just shocks, rent, like, ripping through them. None of them die. I smile and walk away. <laughs> Alright, so... That brings us to Aegean. Uh, I, I haven't been doing anything. Mm. I don't, I don't know what I want to do. What should I do? You should attack some people. Like, help me kill the guy. So who are we well, fighting? Uh, uh 12, so... 12 zombies and a fourth level spellcaster. Why are we... Even in the situation. Um, I, we'll I get paid. To... Yep. Oh, hell yeah. Let me attack that uh, fourth level caster or whatever. I don't care. Alright, so you want to attack uh, Har Harren? Hey, I want to attack like whatever the hell is casting fourth level spells. Well, not fourth level spells, just fourth level spell caster. He can cast up to third level spells. Yeah. I don't care. No, I just... second level spells and cantrips. I just want to hit it. Alright, so, you run towards them. And roll a d20 for me? Or should I roll for you? Roll for me. Would you want to unarmed strike them or use your crossbow? Uh, use my... What, whatever one hurts me. Uh, your crossbow hurts more, so you fire that. And you, you will. Uh, hey, Heron! He turns towards you, kind of still trying to regain his balance from um, the failed attempt to shock, uh, shock Dondo. And you look as he sees recognition in, in his eyes as you shoot it. And then just as the last second, he dodges away. God damn it. And now. Top of the round to Dondo. Yeah, my boy. All right. Um, I, I go and hit him. Uh, again with your great axe or with your double bladed scimitar. Axe. All right. Roll a d20 for me. I got seventeen again. Seventeen hits, especially with your plus seven. Yep. So roll a d12. Uh, I got two. Uh, that's still seven damage total, so... Uh, Sweet! So, so you see that he's still, like, recoiling, 
his lower arm is still bleeding, and then you rip it out, his aunt, and then you just slam it right back into his shoulder, this time in the upper arm. And he's just screaming and withering oh as this God. thing bites into his arm. Does he lose the health for bleeding? What? Does he lose the health for bleeding? Um... No, because it didn't specify. But hold on. Alrighty then. Alright, so. Next, it's. All of our team is like gone because they went. Yeah, a lot of people left. Okay, so next up, it's the zombies' turn. So they kind of, like, start to reach for you. But once again, you're in the hallway, so... Only one can try to hit you, which it most definitely doesn't do. <laughs> hmm... Alright, now it's the evil mage's turn. And he turns to you, Dondo, and he's like, Ah, oh, buddy! Yeah, you're you're my best friend, man. You've been with me for so long. I, I really hope that uh Um I think you know, um I'm pretty sure that girl over there who just shot a crossbow at me. Yeah, wait, she's a wait, jerk. Wait. I think you should go attack her. My character's a guy. <laughs> Shit. All right. <laughs> so you, I think you should go attack him. Yeah. You just gonna be a girl. I'm offended. Shut up. All right. Roll, <laughs> uh, roll a d20, Dondo. Again for what? A wisdom saving throw. I got a nine plus seven. That's fifteen. No, not strength. Wisdom. Oh, wait, what do I add? Plus zero, so that's nine. Man, this Great. is just this is just the friendliest guy. This is just a really nice man. I think, honestly, you think that you should go attack Aegean. So, but it's Dondo, not my turn yet. Dondo is charmed. Now it's Torment's turn. Torment's Make gonna him. come around the corner. From the hallway to see them to see the uh, mage. Yeah. De charming. <laughs> and it's just gonna cast Chill Touch, which is a cantrip. And it you watch you watch as this bluish energy forms a hand and just goes and backhands him. Backhands who? The mage. All right. Uh, I need <laughs> you to roll a d20. It's not an auto Eight. hit. Eight. Eighteen to hit. Eighteen total. Yeah. Well, still, roll a d8. Eight points of necrotic damage. So you just see this bluish glowing hand kind of like w go float over to him. You It flips off the evil uh, heron and then backhands him. But you may have like overdid it a little bit because you just, even from there, you can hear the snap as his neck just stops and he falls over dead. I start laughing. And that is uh, uh Oh wait. Yeah, that hey, I think I'll that releases back. Dondo. Oh yeah, it does. Now oh, it's Aegean's turn. I I still don't know what to do. Well, Attack there's the zombies. Well, zombies. Uh can I dance? You want to dance? I will dance. Make a performance check. Hold on. Uh, that's a... 6 plus 3, that's 9. Nobody likes your dancing, and you fall, and you take 1d4 of damage. Fuck you. you take 1 damage. This just makes me sad. You are sad. This is mean. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Alright, uh, hold on.
Got it. Okay, so. Got it. So, um. You guys go towards, uh. uh, uh, uh Dondo's turn. Back to the top of the round. The evil mage is dead. Now all that's left is zombie, and yeah, the zombies. Marcus left. Marcus, Sh shit. Well, um, that goes. Like how Ace said, she'll be back in ten minutes. It's been a half hour. Oh boy, this doesn't seem good. Dondo goes up to the closest zombie and makes a great axe attack. Alright, he does indeed. Uh, he hits because he has a plus 7 to hit. What do you roll, d12? Yeah, d12. Hold on. Uh, nah, that's a 12. Plus 5, so that's 17. So the closest zombie looks up. He's this Dam massive man. And was also damaged by Thunder Wave. Oh yeah, he was also damaged by Thunder Wave. And you stabbed a couple times. And he's dead. I... Yes. That, that was the zombie you acid blasted. Uh... That's always fun. Yep, alright. So, now it's the zombie's turn. There are 11 of them left. Wow. Wow, he comes such a difference. Right as his turns I'm in. I'm back, I'm back. Is it my turn? Uh, yeah, we, we just, yeah, we we just, just did your turn. You. you killed a zombie. Oh, well, what about the mage? I want to kill the mage. He's the mage is dead, dead already. Oh, the, does he have any good loot on him? Uh, You can loot him after the fight. But Dang yes, he it. does. Does he have, like... The zombies start streaming out. In, uh, uh, so... Three of them are able to escape because uh, you uh, torment was distracted trying to uh, attack the th um, the uh, the mage. So three of them come out with the other eight close behind, and they all attack you, torment. Do it! Do it! You won't. Okay, so that's uh. Wait, really? What's your AC? My AC is fourteen. <laughs> Got it. So, two of them hit, one of them doesn't. So, the first one reaches towards you, and he's about to slam into you, and you kind of, like, dodge out of the way, and then you're just kind of smiling and laughing at him, as the other two just, yeah. like, blindside you, and you take... Eight damage total. I bet. That one hurt a little bit. Yeah, that one hurt. Just a little and bit. Now it's your turn, Tor Torment. Oh, it's my turn! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Bet. Hello. Hi, how's it going? I'm gonna take my Shadow Dagger out. Oh, no. So, Wait. it's actually been sheathed, or it's been unsheathed, so I'm just gonna take it and just attack the zombie that missed. Alright, so... Oh boy, hold on. Um Okay, so Natural twenty. Natural twenty, alright. Roll uh two D four. Two D four plus six. Hold on, I have to find my D four. Uh, okay. Seven plus thirteen points of damage. 13 points of damage, holy hell. And, and it has, has to do has to the make additional a con thing. Save. Yeah. Con save, uh, which is the zombie specialty, but I mean, he doesn't do it. He falls one point short. He's frightened of me. Yes. This zombie, now seeing this dagger made of complete and pure darkness, slash into him as it just rends him and 
His blood, instead of being red, is just black with pure darkness. This zombie is now frightened. Yeah, so now, on that note, back to the failed dancer. That's mean. Can you, like, do something Who's the productive? Failed dancer? Aegean. Well, I'm bored. I'm so bored right now. I don't think you understand how bored I am. I could literally cry for no reason whatsoever because I'm so bored. Right. Why? Is it because Finn isn't here? Yes. He watches Finn comes around the corner. No. Finn comes around the corner. He saves your asses because he's level seven. Or is he level? Or is he higher than that, Andrew? I don't know. God damn it. Yeah. I'll, whatever. I'll just maybe he's himself. actually twenty level. Yeah. It, yeah. I. I don't think he could take damage as a level twenty rogue. <laughs> I'll just attack a zombie or whatever. All right. So you grab your crossbow. You throw in a bolt. Uh, let me roll a d20 for you. And then I like to lay on the ground and contemplate life. Alright, so, you pull out this crossbow. You load an arrow. You co cover your eyes, and you don't even flinch as you fire it. And you miss the zombie's head by, like, three feet. Wow. And then you just kind of lie down and contemplate. Your eyes are still closed, so you think you nailed it, but you didn't. I, I just... I just want I just want to commit back uh, to the top bath. of the ladder. Dondo. Dondo. Did he fucking leave again? No, he's he's here. Marcus. Did his mic break? Yes, I'm here. What? Uh, it's your turn. Oh, okay. So, Let me search my how many house. zombies are there? Uh, eleven. Oh, I'm the okay. Um, is there one next to me, or like, are they all stuck next to the door? Uh, there are three outside and more within the door. And there's one in the door. Three... Wow, no one's here. Jesus. There are three outside, and then the, the other eight balls. are coming out on their next the turn. Up. Oh, okay. So I. Kill the one coming out of the door. There are three out of the door. Oh, well, I kill one out of the three. Alright, roll a d20. Um, I got, in total... Four, twenty-four. Twenty-four. Now, what do I roll for? Wait a minute. How do you? Uh, oh, right. Um. Um. Okay. Roll a d12 for me. I got a four. Great. Um. So, you run towards this zombie, and then it doesn't even register you're there before it dies. You just, yep. one swing, clean head cut off. Just oh. Dead. And now, Zombo's turn. So the other two are like, oh fuck, he just, Bill's dead. He had a wife. Um, fuck his wife. Also, guys. Uh, they, right, right, so, as Asian, right as Asian says that, <laughs> you see T Torment look around and just wink. <laughs> wow. <laughs> just so you guys know, zombies have a special ability called Undead Fortitude, which essentially allows them to make a constitution saving throw if they reach zero hit points. And uh, if they uh, roll well, they, uh, they'll be able to... Um, do they do that like every time, like someone's dead, or is it just no? Uh, that uh, that's only for zombies, and uh, if if they succeed, then they drop to one hit point instead. I'm not gonna do that because there are three of you. One of them doesn't even really want to play. 
Well, no, it's not. It's just I'm bored. You guys are not really doing anything. We're killing zombies. Fuck zombies. That's the point. No, no, no. I'm all. I I like plot. I'm. All right. I'm a so plopper, they so. go and. All right. I'll be right back. Bye. So they attack uh, Dondo, who, uh, where they both miss. And now it's Torment's turn. My turn? Yeah. Oh, um, one more I... zombie comes out, so now there are three zombies on the outside. Alright, bet. I'm gonna cast a... F reckless cast... I'm gonna reckless cast a first level spell. I think that's your last spell slot. It is. Uh... <laughs> Hold on. I look up the stats for this. <laughs> Alright, so... Cast Color Spray. Color Spray? What does that do again? A dazzling array of flashing colored lights springs from my hands. Roll 6d10. And this blinds them. Got it. Okay, so... Oh, God. Jesus, I'm back. Um, okay, so... Creatures in a 15-foot cone originating from me, so I... I run ahead a little bit, turn around, cast... Reckless cast color spray. <laughs> and... All... The... <laughs> basically, if you add up all their hit points, and it's below 34, they get... Blinded. Yeah, you so get how that... the two zombies that were already outside are blinded. I no, I look into the main group. Oh, like into the main group of zombies? Yeah. If you did that, um. Oh, oh, oh okay. So you could only affect two of them. Yeah, well, you can only affect two anyway. Okay, so um, got it. So there are two yeah. zombies in the very back that you blind. Sweet. And now it's on to Aegean's turn. Howdy. Howdy. You can cross I'll be right one. back. Can I um get up, shoot one, and then start dancing again? All right. So let me roll a d20 for you. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so you uh, stand up, um, you see the zombie dead, because the zombie that you shot at dead, and you think that you did it, and you're like, aha, I'm so cool, and you pull out your cross spell, and you shoot one, and it implants it dead in the zombie's upper arm, and it just shrieks in pain. Perfect. Can I dance? Fine, you can dance. Let me. Why would check. you want to dance though? Why funny. wouldn't you want to dance? What, All right, you dance. Song? Yeah, that's it. All right, that's it. What, what was the point of that turn? <laughs> uh, so zombie took dancing. five damage, so that's cool. And then back to the top of the turn with Dondo. Yeah, my oh. boy. Is Dondo a cleric? Dondo is not our oh. cleric. Our cleric was Kofi, who left. Wow. A, a cleric wouldn't do that much damage. That's what I'm doing now. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Alright, roll I'm a d20. Them with an I'm back. Hey, Andrew. Um, can, you, can you roll for me? I don't want to roll. What? Can you roll for me? Sure. Okay, so. Hold on. Where do you even buy dice? So, uh anywhere you roll yeah, a two a you, you would have rolled a two which means you would have gotten fucked right there however you do have great weapon fighting as your uh fighting style which means you can re-roll a one or two on damage dice uh Please. with melee re weapon so that's a 19 <laughs> so oh, be right back all right so that's 26 total. Yeah, that fucking hits. <laughs> uh, 
And that goes and deals. Oh my. What do I do? So, what do I do? you see I... this zombie. A, cr a crossbow bolt just embedded into its upper arm. It's still... Uh, it, it, it's still, like, fighting off, um, spells that were cast at it, and it's screaming, and it looks you dead in the eye, and then you remove his head by just taking your greatsword, cutting it fucking vertically. It splits into two pieces and dies. Now, on to Torment's turn. Andrew, I think... Oh, he... bet! Yeah. Um, I'll cast Firebolt at it, at the closest one. Alright, um... Great, can you roll a d20 for me? Uh, that's a 20 to hit. 20 to hit, that does hit. Alright. Wait, not 20. 20 or just 20? No, just 20. Alright, uh, so... Yeah, that hits, d10. Uh, that's four points of fire damage. Four points? Alright, so. You cast Firebolt on this thing. And it kind of just... Withers. As it just shrieks away from this light. And you can see that it's hunched over. Rotting flesh starts to scorch and develop third degree burns on the palms. Where it blocked your blow. I do, I, I like, I kind of like, just dab. <laughs> Alright, Aegean. She said she'll be right back. She, she's yeah. muted and, and she can't hear also. Well so. then I guess I'll just roll for her. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, she hit her last two shots, or she thought she hit her last two shots. She's feeling pretty smug. Pulls out her crossbow, uh, flicks up a, uh, bolt, manages to land it in the hole, uh, manages to land it, and right as she's about to fire, she misses, and it embeds in the wall behind Andrew's head, almost hitting him. And back to Dondo. Um, so, I kill another zombie, I guess? Alright, uh, should I roll for you again? Uh, I'll roll, I'll roll, I'll roll. Roll a d20, then roll a d12. Ah, uh, true. Um, I got 17 in total. And then damage. I got a 5. Plus uh, something. Plus five, so that's ten damage. So the zombie... Uh... The zombie is almost dead. You, like... You pull your great axe, it, and you just embed it through its chest. It's like it's on its l almost last breath as it just grabs the great axe and snarls at you. <sighs> And now it's the zombie's turn. So the zombie okay. literally grabs the great axe and pulls itself along this axe to get to you. And critically hits you. It claws you in the face for... Hold on, let me check this. <laughs> He's like, wait... Wait, so that hit wasn't a critical hit? That crit, that hit was a critical hit, dealing ten. No, the damage. one I did. No, it wasn't. But you take. Wait, what? 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 What makes it a critical hit? If you roll a nat twenty, it took ten oh. damage. So I took ten damage. Sweet. Yeah. And then um, some a uh, couple more zombies pour out. So now there are there are four zombies out in the open. One of them is now on your axe. Torment, your turn. My turn already? Yep. Uh, uh Save me, Andrew. Wiggles cast a 
rest of restless cast of cans rip at the one that, on hiding hanging onto his ass. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> oh. I fire I firebolt him. Firebolt? Alright. Yeah, so uh, roll a d20 to attack. Oh, oh, um, that's 13 oh. to hit. 13 total? Yeah. That, my good sir... Hits. Alright. Uh, 6 points of fire damage. 6 points, yeah, it's dead. Thank you, Andrew. So you saved from my life. Marcus as it burns, is... as it burns a hole through the back of its head, I just smiled through it at. So, uh, Don, from Marcus's Don perspective, Do. so like it, a hole of fire just erupts, melting the zombie's face off in front of him, and then through the gaping hole of what was once the zombie's face, or is just Don uh, is just uh uh torment, just kind of sitting there smiling. Well, you assume it's a smile. The, the still a skull mask. Well, yeah. Aegean, she's back. Gone. No, no she isn't. Wait, All does right. that mean my 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 axe is now a fire axe because it's set on fire? No. Dang it. And okay, so Aegean. Uh. Uh, shoots another zombie for two damage. Sweet. Dondo, your turn. How much L do I have now? I don't know. Uh, 11. I go and attack another zombie. Alright. Roll a d20. I got 11 in total. Wait. Yeah, 11 in total. Hits. Sweet. Roll a d12. 5. Alright, so you watch as this zombie, uh, as a zombie comes out, you kind of, like, shake, th uh, the dead zombie off of your axe, and then as you're flicking the zombie off, you accidentally just decapitate another zombie. Purely Sweet. by accident, but I mean, it works, doesn't it? Yes. So next up is the zombie. You know what? For the sake of an entertaining video, I'm for the sake of an entertaining video that doesn't go on for like an hour of just zo of the the same monotonous hitting zombies. I'm going to say that you guys win because th there's no way that you can lose. There's no way that you can't win. I mean, they're zombies. So, you guys kill the zombies. Congratulations. The three of you Ooh. get yeah. 800 experience points between the three of you. Does, does that... No, I don't. Yes, you do. That, that's... Oh, wait. Uh, no, you don't level up, but I mean... That Can I you... loot the, the sorcerer? No. You will all loot the sorcerer when the in the given time frame, but you all get 267 experience. How much? 267. You want to add it to your own character? Yeah, I got it. 257 Ashkata. 67. Oh. Ooh, man, a lot of another time there. Alright. You know, this could have been, like, done uh, 45 minutes ago if you just talked to him, because you could you could have just talked to him. Uh, but then we won't get the experience. Now. And we don't get his loot. Eh. It's fine, he's dead now. I get his, we yeah. get his loot, I get his loot, because I'm gonna inter- I'm gonna use an intimidation check at Intimidation check against Marcus. Yeah. What? All right, I need I you to him. roll a intimidation check or intimidation. I have intimidation. A, I, I can't find it. Oh, plus three. Wow. Okay, that. Never mind. What was it? Five. <laughs> Five total. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh god. Alright, so you kind of stand up to him and say, you look him dead in the eye and you say, Well, um, sir, I have a skull on my can, face. Can, can, I, can I cast Thaumaturgy to make my eyes red so I get an advantage? Sure. Oh, bet! Oh, natural 20! <laughs> <laughs> so he kind of just laughs Come at on. you, and then you grab him by the throat, bring him down, your eyes glowing red, and say, Listen to me, you fucking loser. I will rip out your skull and use it as a drinking chalice from your blood. If you... Now, we're going to all play nice and give me the best share of gold, aren't we? You kind of right, so... toss him to the side and walk in. What do I find on his body? Well, on his body, uh, you don't find anything, but in his tent, there is... Huh, bet. Um... Um... Alright, um... Let me... Okay, let me just do some quick maths to see how much uh, money is here in this tent total. Well, um, there is, um, from your rudimentary search, you see that there's about 628 gold here. Take all of it? You take all of it, alright. So, you take all of it, and, um, that's, that's a that? lot of gold. What else do I find? Um, normally here is where I would let other people get some stuff, but I mean, you rolled a nat 20, so you get a, the, you get a potion just, of healing. Just, just, just tell me what I find first. I'll see what I leave for him. Uh, you got a spell scroll of darkness. Uh. Um, that's getting added to my inventory. <laughs> yeah, that's getting added to your inventory. Uh, um, there's a, like a tiny jeweled box with a ring of protection on it. Take that. And so you take everything except the potion feeling. Yeah. All right. And, and then... I'll I'll leave a, I'll leave two hundred gold. Got it. Thank you. I deserve some credit. Jeez. Uh, but the, you do take the jeweled box, which is worth two hundred uh, uh twenty five gold. So you have. Huh. Okay. Add twenty five to that. And I have a ring of protection. You said. A ring of protection. I like that. I'll add that to my inventory. And did you get the spell I, thing? I, the what? The spell thing. The spell scroll I, of darkness. I, I don't know what that would. Is that is that an item? Spell scroll of darkness. Yeah, it's spell scroll. I guess. Uh, what level? There's many levels. Um. I say you just add it to my inventory when you get the chance. Yeah, I'll just add it. It is a... Second level. But I'll just add that to your inventory. Yeah, I uh, can't cast second it. Second so. level. Kofi, shut up. You're here. You're up in heaven because you didn't want to fight us. Oh, yeah. Because I didn't want to help you. Yeah, Kofi's back. I mean, uh, so they got all the stuff, and you got nothing. You guys so Dondo, you get one, you get two hundred gold, and a healing potion. Um, why is Nikki deaf and muted? No goddamn clue. Andrew, what did you do? I didn't do anything. That's I'm what not somebody the one who did something would say. Alright, so... Alright, let me just, in uh... In that case... Some of these spells. That is where oh we are going to leave, uh, the episode off. Um, oh. it... Does, oh. does Tip come down from heaven? Yeah, Tip kind of come down from heaven. Um, like... as, does, as he comes down, can I try and burn his wings off? <laughs> Uh, I cast fireballs at him. 
I'll allow it. We'll I'm not even. 20. I'm not even. I'm not even there yet. You Actually, you know what? Think? No, I'm not even gonna firebolt him. I'm gonna reckless cast a cantrip at him. No, please. I'm not even. I'm not even here. You didn't even. I don't know. I don't know who you back. are. You're this random angel flying down at me, and I'm not. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm not even here, though. I'm not even like. In the, I'm not even. I don't even exist in your plane of being yet. <laughs> he still shoots at you. What was it? How is he shooting at me? I'm I, re I reckless cast the light cantrip at him, just making him shine brightly. <laughs> I'm in heaven right now. What this? So, uh, you guys move. kind of. I'm gonna give you all a long rest because you guys are coming back to town. Yeah, it was it was pretty rough fighting all of those guys. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> and this is the type of thing I'm going to do with this character. Well, so you guys Ooh. all make it back and then he's still kind of sitting there reading his book and says, "You've been gone quite a short amount of time considering the fact uh considering how how uh, far away it is. Well, I How mean, long did the fight off. take you? If uh, if it's two days there and two days back, and you made it back in four days. Yeah, about twenty minutes. Yes, that's a lie. Yeah, it took about um, forty-five minutes. I was watching you the entire time to make sure you didn't kill yourselves. You absolute fucking moron. Wait, he followed us. Yeah, he followed you. Oh, sweet. Wait, who followed us? Oh wait, I got a long rest, right? Yeah, you got a long rest. I uh, I did it for you. If you reload your okay, character page. Okay, thanks. Yeah, um, yeah. We're just that good at taking out monsters pretty quickly. Uh, this is me and the team. You do realize I've been with you the entire time. You did jack shit and you came down after they were already finished. Um. I'd like look. to reckless cast a first level spell on him. <laughs> wait, first like level or you... cantrip? First level. Why are you wasting a first level? You know what? I don't care. Go for it. Why is everybody Wait. trying to hurt me all the time? It's so no, not you. I'm casting at the guy. Oh, yay. Wait, why? Because he followed us and I didn't know about it. Alright, so you, what did you cast at him? <laughs> um, hold on. Alright, I'm back. Oh, nice. Yeah, we finished. Oh. What? What? Yeah, <laughs> you didn't get I, anything. <laughs> I, I cast Fog Cloud. So you cast Fog Cloud. So yeah. he says, Are you trying to intimidate me because I followed you? There's now a 20 foot radius sphere of fog on him. He just kind of waves his hand and it just kind of dissipates. Damn it. I do it. I cast it. I reckless cast again. This is what happens when everyone on your team is evil. This oh is what... boy. I don't understand what's happening. Oh, uh, you guys made it back. You finished. You're done. Um, I flew back. I flew back to Earth after being told no. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I cast Thunderwave. So you cast Thunderwave. So like. Everybody, everybody needs to make a dexterity saving throw, or was it constitu constitution, constitution saving throw? Constitution. Someone roll it for me. Uh, what's the uh... what's the DC? Uh, fourteen. Yeah, um... What's my thing again? So the way you do it, because you're, uh, kind of like in the entranceway, uh, there's like this table with a little bit of tea on it. Oh, the tea goes flying. Yeah, the tea goes flying. He catches it midair, <clears throat> and then just sips it, and puts it back down. And the only thing it, your spell appears to have done to him is to have turned the page for him. I, I got an Oh, and he, he, I, he also... And anybody that fails takes five damage. Yeah, no, he All didn't right. fail. He didn't fail in the slightest. I failed. I got. <laughs> well, I got it. So me, just so. this eight. So someone walking no, no, down. No, 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 no. If he if he makes a success, if you make a success, you take five damage. If you fail, you take ten. All right. So he took five damage, I guess. So I take ten, and I'm just. And I, yeah. And so just, from. And I just like. So if he's just. So people are just kind of walking down, saying. Oh, hey, that's a nice orchard. And then just an angel just charged with electricity bashes through the window and just just lands in a tree and just 
Uh, you can hear Wait a second. Boom. Being scared that there's being scared that an angel just busted through the window, I'm gonna cast chill touch at him. What? Wait, he was in the <laughs> room with you. Oh, he was? Yeah. He was yeah, he was thunder shocked away wow. from you. He's like twenty oh. feet away. <laughs> oh. Alright, I'll try backhand him back to heaven. What? Okay, I hold on. Let me just bring something up. Me. Let me just bring something up. Okay. <laughs> hold on. So you but want But I haven't slapped Kofi yet. <laughs> you don't get so I'm to. trying to slap him back to heaven. You're not allowed to. So he takes you, ten you're... damage. And then how much damage does this do? Hold well, on. I mean, it's 18 to hit, so I'm pretty sure that hits. That, and that this hits. This does... Oh, wait, no, no, he... Wait, uh, hold on, Kofi, what did you roll? What did I roll? Yeah, roll, your, roll uh, for, for your constitution saving throw. 12. Damn it, Oh, he failed it. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, he goes out the window, and I just see him go, and I just... I just like flick. I just I, I snap and it, you should see a hand just go and backhand them. How much damage did it deal? Uh, shit. Kofi's on his death saving throws. <laughs> <laughs> Kofi's on his death die. saving throws again. Hold on. I need to make. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Alright, he got three successes. He's still alive. <laughs> Damn it! I do it again. I'm, I'm going. I'm going back to heaven. <laughs> I here. I'll, I cast chill touch. To send you back no, to heaven. No, no, I'm, I'm leaving. Oh, natural, natural one. <laughs> you, you, you're like, aha. Yeah, you, you see, if chill touch works on angels, then it's gotta work on me. Let me just test it. And you hit yourself. For... All right, one d eight damage. Yep. One damage. All right, damage. So hold on. So, uh, okay. So you all take a long rest so that Kofi doesn't fucking die. Um, before I go to sleep, I just cast, I, I reckless cast just this first level spell just so I can see what it does. Oh boy, what do you do? I cast false life on myself. Oh, okay, but it only works for ten minutes, so. Hmm. <laughs> all right, so that's all done. <laughs> you spent two hours on a single side quest again. Who did? You guys. <laughs> hey, you didn't die! Wait, he's back! <laughs> Who's back? Tip. No, damn it. Alright, after flying back to heaven again, I come down once more. To right, trying so, this again. As, as he comes down, I try and burn down his wings again. I, can right, I, I'm roll a d20. Roll a, uh, try wait, to, wait, try wait. What do you mean, I, roll I, a d20? I, Don't let him do this. I push Andrew down. I push Andrew down. No, no, I, I want to see where this is going. Roll a d20. No, I push Andrew down. Where is it going? It's going um, to be dying. That's not fair. I put Andrew down. Heaven. Oh, wait. Uh, wait, no. It's disadvantage because uh, uh, Dondo pushes you. Okay. Uh, 19 to hit. You're on the ground. What's... So, oh, your shot goes wild. What? what? Okay. Thank you. Good. Um, that, I way, meant... that way it might not hurt me. <laughs> I don't like you people on me. <laughs> Can All I right, ladies Andrew and gentlemen, out? that's it for this episode of Critical Failure. I from now on, we'll, we'll pick up where we left off. I, I Bye. I we need to stop Andrew. this. Hold I on. I knock out Andrew. I knock out Andrew. I knock out Andrew. All right, everyone. Goodbye. I